Hi everyone. São Martino, meaning Saint Martin, built as a Portuguese navy galleon, became the flagship of Duke of Medina Sidonia, commander-in-chief of the Spanish Armada. When the Kingdom of Portugal came under the rule of King Philip II of Spain, Philip I of Portugal, in 1580, the Portuguese had just finished building a large galleon named São Martino. She was known by Castilians as San Martin. At the time of forming the Spanish Armada, São Martino was found to be the best of the fleet and was chosen as the flagship of the Armada Commander-in-Chief, Duke of Medina Sidonia. São Martino had an overall length of about 180 feet with a beam of about 40 feet. She carried 48 heavy guns on two enclosed gun decks, plus multiple smaller weapons. According to a painting by Hendrik Cornelis Vroom, National Maritime Museum, Greenwich, São Martino had three masts, two square-rigged masts and a Latin mizzen mast. She was shown with a stern gallery and with the long beak head characteristic of a galleon. The foremast was set forward of the forecastle. The São Martino and crew played a crucial role in defending the Armada throughout the English Channel. An example was the fighting of July 31 to August 2, 1588, from the English coast to Calais, such as the rescue ordered by Medina Sidonia of the galleon São João, commanded by Juan Martinez to Recalda, that after repairs and trying to join the formation, was intercepted and faced alone 12 English galleons and race galleons. In the process, the São Martino fought, virtually isolated, for one hour, 15 English galleons. Howard, however, opted to kept some distance, preventing further approach and giving up the fight in duels of gunfire from both sides. São Martino had suffered already heavy damage in the Battle of Groveline in July 1588 when a group of English ships led by Sir Francis Drake in revenge bore down upon her. With the assistance of the galleon São Mateos she escaped the attack and led the armada back to Spain through a ferocious storm, where she had to be towed into port at Santander. Because of a storm, São Martino had to take refuge at Laredo, where Medina Sidonia found the galleus Napolitana and other ships in harbour. The ship was full of sick crew and was itself in sad condition. The Spanish Armada was a Spanish fleet of 130 ships that sailed from Lisbon in late May 1588 under the command of the Duke of Medina Sidonia, with the purpose of escorting an army from Flanders to invade England. Medina Sidonia was an aristocrat without naval command experience but was made commander by King Philip II. The aim was to overthrow Queen Elizabeth I and her establishment of Protestantism in England, to stop English interference in the Dutch Revolt, and to stop the harm caused by English and Dutch privateering ships that disrupted Spanish interests in the Americas. English ships sailed from Plymouth to attack the Armada. They were faster and more maneuverable than the larger Spanish galleons, enabling them to fire on the Armada without loss as the Armada sailed east off the south coast of England. The Armada could have anchored in the Solent between the Isle of Wight and the English mainland and occupied the Isle of Wight, but Medina Sidonia was under orders from King Philip II to meet up with Alexander Farnese, Duke of Parma's forces in the Netherlands so England could be invaded by Parma's soldiers and other soldiers carried in ships of the Armada. English guns damaged the Armada, and a Spanish ship was captured by Sir Francis Drake in the English Channel. The Armada anchored off Calais. While awaiting communications from the Duke of Parma, the Armada was scattered by an English fireship night attack and abandoned its rendezvous with Parma's army, that was blockaded in harbour by Dutch flyboats. In the ensuing Battle of Groveline, the Spanish fleet was further damaged and was in risk of running aground on the Dutch coast when the wind changed. The Armada, driven by southwest winds, withdrew north, with the English fleet harrying it up the east coast of England. As the Armada returned to Spain around Scotland and Ireland, it was disrupted further by storms. Many ships were wrecked on the coasts of Scotland and Ireland, and more than a third of the initial 130 ships failed to return to Spain. 
As historians Martin and Parker explain, Philip II attempted to invade England, but his plans miscarried. This was due to his own mismanagement, including the appointment of an aristocrat without naval experience as commander of the Armada, but also to unfortunate weather, and the opposition of the English and their Dutch allies, which included the use of fire ships sailed into the anchored Armada. The expedition was the largest engagement of the undeclared Anglo Spanish War. The following year, England organized a similar large scale campaign against Spain, the English Armada, sometimes called the Counter Armada of 1589, which was also unsuccessful. Thanks for watching.